This is Heinz Hornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. With this little video I will demonstrate how to include any schematic component into a simulation with PCB Sim. For this I have opened on the left hand side Eagle and on the right hand side PCB Sim. In order to simulate a component with PCB Sim, PCB Sim must understand its type and its properties. The type is usually just um, determined by the name of the component and the number of terminals. A component starting with R and having two terminals is always simulated as a resistor. The same is true for a component C2, um, which is simulated as a capacitor. So PCB Sim already knows the types for passive components. And the value for passive components is directly taken from the value of the component, for example, here 1m. So if you want to change this value for the simulation, you can either use the normal eagle functionality choosing value, and for example 4k7, or you can choose the context menu entry PCB sim and having the same value 4k7, and it says also the past value 4700 ohm. Now, for semiconductor devices, it is slightly more complicated because a semiconductor device does not have a single value um, for the simulation but needs a simulation model. For this, again, I make a right mouse click on the component, choose the context menu entry PCB sim. And now a dialog opens which allows two things. First, it allows to select a file from which to choose um, the simulation model. I'm, for example, taking standard here. And then I can choose a component, for example, BC548C. So this already defines the simulation model. And then what I have to do is to assign a shape pin B to a model pin, for example, basis. Often this assignment has already been done automatically. If not, it has to be done manually. And then I have to press the button OK. So now PCB Sim already knows Q1 is an NPN transistor of type BC548. Very similar is it if I want to simulate an integrated circuit. For example, if I want to, um, to simulate um, an an uh, analog device operational amplifier, I'm just adding this here now. I have now an AD811 from analog devices. And then what I have to do is, again, the very um, similar with the um, transistor, I make a right mouse click on the component, choose PCB SIM, and now I have to choose a model file. In this type, I take analog devices, and I have to choose the simulation model I want to have, and I want to have 8811. Here we go. And then I have to make the pin assignment. The shape pin plus VS is going to the positive supply, negative is going to the negative supply, plus in is the non-inverted input, minus in is the inverted input, and out is the output. That's it. This is all I have to do to assign a simulation model um, to an integrated circuit. And now, if I start the simulation by pressing Simulate Current Sheet, PCB Sim will recognize this as the correct analog, um, operational amplifier. That's all for, for now. Thanks a lot for watching and bye.